Now, it's been months of tension in Kashmir and it's hit normal life and worse, it's hit the confidence of the people. That's right. In fact, many people who had launched startups and businesses in the state have taken a big hit with even the internet being affected. My colleague Naseem Masoodi reports. It creates a certain disbelief in your mind and heart that if you're trying to generate employment, if you're trying to do something good, is it going to fetch anything? At this point of time, I think no. Tabish Habib was to launch her startup in July. But thanks to the shutdown, her business incubation center ThinkPod is a non-starter. The 26-year-old invested 30 lakh rupees in it and one and a half lakh in salaries and rent for the last four months. Income zero. You get a strategic setback which you are not able to actually compensate. These three months have actually put me back a year. See, we started something which was new. And it was supposed to be launched, right? And at this point of time, I don't even know will I be able to launch it or not. Maybe I cannot even continue it. Maybe I cannot pay a hefty amount of rent. On top of the shutdown, the internet blockade. For Ijaz Ayub, who set up the knowledge sharing platform Silk Route Consulting Group and has 250 startups registered with him, it has spelled doom. If you have a shop, how will you do business? If you don't have internet, you are not able to update your website, you are not able to take orders. So maybe people can see your website globally, but if you don't have the orders on your website, you can't cater to them. So how will you do your e-commerce? Startups boomed in Srinagar the last few years in food and e-commerce, but the boom seems to be over now. It's not the first time when startups like Tabish have been hit by turmoil in Kashmir. But the current unrest has literally shaken the confidence of budding entrepreneurs who want to write their success stories and create jobs. In Srinagar, Nazir Masoodi, Findy TV.